morning. How are you? This is Marianne Grant, Life in Harmony podcast. Today is the first day of your life. It's important. What are you going to do with it? Remember, let's talk about letting go of any of that residue that you left behind yesterday. Mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, sexually, I suggest you clean that up so we have a great day today. Yesterday's gone. We are not promised tomorrow. Let's have a wonderful day today. First thing, get that taken care of so you don't bring any heavy baggage over. All right, sarcasm. Sarcasm is anger, emotions, bad attitude, enabling, people-pleasing, not able to say no, drugs, alcohol, pills, relationships, sex, lust, love, anger, rage, porn, controlling everybody around you but yourself, distractions everywhere, then you have nothing but excuses, gambling, work, working out, food addiction, binge TV, phone, podcasts, news, caffeine, surgeries, pain, being in a relationship with a man or a woman, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually, abusing one another, and you may want to add to the list. Okay, today I want to talk about um, giving yourself uh, a year for any, any major change um, and how slow and steady wins the race and set realistic goals. What happens is, you know, when you've been spending years um, abusing yourself in different ways and then you decide you want to clean up your mess that you're sick and tired of doing the same thing over and over again and knowing exactly what the results are going to be um, and you find yourself um, going nowhere, which it really is a nowhere life and it's a dead end every time. And there's a lot of risks and play and rush and roulette with your life because you can destroy and take out another life with you. But when you set the goals, truly set realistic goals, set up a strong foundation, and slow and steady wins the race down to how you take care of your body, how you uh, even work out 15 minutes, 20 minutes is better than no minutes. Don't just say, screw it, I'm not going to do anything today, screw it, this happened, screw it, that happened. No, do something every day to get to your goal. Do, make yourself the most important thing. Make yourself a priority or you're never going to get there. Because here's the deal. There's always screw ups, there's always chaos, there's always pains in the asses in our life that are going to interfere with our dreams and our goals. Remember, there can't be any reservation for whatever it is that you want to change. This is the big one. This is the most major change. This is the biggest change that's going to change your life forever. And we have major changes in our lives, um, big ones, like getting married, buying a home, having children, um, leaving the state, going to another country, um, uh, giving a lung, um, doing major surgeries. These are big changes. Letting go of an addiction that's been controlling you for years, uh, alcoholic functioning, alcoholic functioning, drug addict. These are all major changes for you to work on. But again, give yourself a year and a slow and steady wins the race. And you have to be kind. You have to be patient with yourself. Get rid of all those blockages that happen to you throughout the day that are interfering with your success. And you may have to eliminate quite a few people also that when you're around them, you constantly relapse in people, places, and things. And that's what you need to look at also. And make yourself a priority. Remember, nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares if you live or die. Only you can care if you live or die. Again, our parents can be your cheerleader, your counselor can be your cheerleader, the person you're working with can be your cheerleader, but in the end, you still have to do the work. And wherever you go, you go with you, so you have nobody to blame but yourself when you're screwing up. Remember balance, not too much of anything. 
our kids, our partner, our work, our palais. When we stay balanced, it's life in harmony. When we abuse ourselves and everyone we love is infected by it, you cheat yourself and everyone around you. The level of love and respect that you give yourself, that is the level of love and respect you will get in return. The goal for all of us truly is life in harmony. And it's all about our thinking it can make or break us. That is why we have to check our thinking and attitude all day long. It has to be natural or else you end up getting backed up in your head and in your life. This, my friend, is the greatest gift you can give yourself. Remember, behind every major breakdown, there's a major breakthrough and something miraculous is going to happen around the corner. People say, I want to help be a part of taking care of the world. Here's the good news. If you truly take care of yourself all day and be a living example, that is taking care of the world. We all have gifts. We all have work to do. That is the true meaning of taking care of the world. Doing your part, no exceptions. The answers lie in each and every one of you. Hey, you smooth talkers, manipulators, narcissists, your words mean nothing. Your actions say everything. I'm going to read a beautiful spiritual saying from Michael Singer. Spirituality begins when you decide you will never stop trying. Spirituality is the commitment to go beyond no matter what it takes. It's an infinite journey based upon going beyond yourself every minute of every day for the rest of your life. If you're truly going beyond, you're always at your limits. You're never back in the comfort zone. A spiritual being feels as though they're always against the edge and they're constantly being pushed through it. One should view their spiritual work as learning to live life without stress, problems, fear, or melodrama. This path of using life to evolve, spirituality is truly the highest path. Trust the process. The spiritual journey is one of constant transformation. To grow, you must give up the struggle to remain the same and learn to embrace change. Discipline is freedom. The undisciplined mind is like an elephant. If left to blunder around, out of control, it will wreak havoc. Control the difficult while it's still easy. Accomplish the greatest tasks by a series of small acts. You must go through the darkest, you must go through the darkest night in order to the infinite light. What we call darkness is really the blockage of light. Eventually, you realize it it cannot actually hurt you when you go beyond your psychological limits. If you're willing to just stand at the edge and you keep walking, you will go beyond. You used to pull back when it got uncomfortable. Now you can relax and go past that point. Imagine the peace that you could experience if you weren't constantly creating and defending your false self. Okay, I'm going to be reading a part of my book. Page 64, control is C. C is for control. Control is our number one killer. What's controlling you? What are you trying to control? Is that control consistent or sporadic? Loss of personal control is our primary degenerative and and destabilizing force causing anxiety inappropriate personal behavior and relationship issues. What may be controlling you? Discontent within, illness, negative thoughts, beliefs, anger, drugs, money issues of communication, work, intimacy, self-esteem, prejudice, and countless other factors may play a role. You can add to the list and establish your own level of control associated with each factor. You must also decide whether or not you can consistently control your situation. If not, you may need to seek professional help or spiritual advice. With perseverance, you can learn trust and respect, but you need to decide to do so. We all need a bit of help along the way. However, the strong person is not afraid to ask for help. If you fail to reach out, you may never experience true happiness, peace, or contentment within. Control is our number one killer. Okay, today I want you to think about when you're angry, when you're upset, when you have anxiety. 99.9% of the time, it's you trying to control another person, place, or thing that absolutely you have no control over. 
these people, um, when they're bitching uh, on the news, the media, this is everybody out there bitching about absolutely things they have no control over, never will have any control over. Those are the distractions. Those are the things that keep you from not moving forward. And it's up to you to decide if you're going to allow that to continue to control your life. Control is our number one killer. So you need to look at what's controlling you, what's bothering you, and look at what you can and cannot control and take charge of that and make it a priority for the day. Watch how much control affects you all day long when you pay attention. You write about it and start letting it go. All right, we can all heal together. Let's work on one thing at a time, and eventually uh, it will be a way of life. I am clean and clear of all diseases and negative thoughts. I accept today where I am powerless. I have control where I have choices. I will reach out for help and use my tools today. I accept today and understand the only person I can change or regulate is myself. I will take time to hug and kiss the loved ones around me. I will show my partner today how much he or she's appreciated, needed, and loved. I will speak up for myself today, be true to ourselves. The answers lie in each and every one of us. <clears throat> Everything we do is a, a practice and a discipline to master what we want. I will take charge of my life today and realize I'm in charge of all my decisions. I will know when it's time to bail out and let go and trust the process. I will set realistic goals for myself. I will get seven to eight hours of sleep tonight. I will set healthy boundaries around myself today. I will not allow anybody to speak to me with disrespect. I will make a conscious effort to eat healthy meals. I will take my vitamins, food supplements today. I will drink six to eight glasses of water today. I will be good to myself today. Whoever can see through all fear will always be safe. I will talk with someone I trust, respect, and be honest with them. Accountability is key. You cannot do it alone. We always lie to ourselves. I will trust and reach out to my higher power today. I will say thank you for everything that happens to me today, good or bad. I will not do anything to cause harm to myself or others today. I am willing to change today. I will exercise today. I will pray for the well-being of myself and others today. I will write a list of all the things I want in a partner. If I become it, I will attract it. I will do two things a day today that I don't want to do to have a successful day. Today, my two things are always getting up early and doing my podcast and working out in keeping my food clean, and the rest will follow. All right, we can all heal together one day at a time. It is a decision from our head to our heart. You can reach me at Create Your Spirit. <clears throat> at gmail.com, leave your number and I'll go over my workshops or if you want to order books, I'll sign them and mail them to you. My services, uh, lifeinharmonyonline.com, leave your number and I'll go over my services with you. Remember, I'm doing the podcast Monday through Friday and hit that round button that says L and hit subscribe. Share it with everybody you love and respect and please start with podcast number one number two, number three, there's order into receiving this information. It's a lot to receive, to relearn everything that we learned. And remember, I want you to have an unexpected day today. And thank you for listening.